Hey, how's it going everyone? Tricky Acid here, and long ago, on the Xbox 360, the year is 2007. It is the beginning of Bioware's success story of releasing the most iconic and memorable sci-fi RPG franchise of all time, Mass Effect. One of the greatest gaming experiences that blew us all away. But this brings us to 2021, the future is now, and after multiple failures since Mass Effect 3, Bioware has once again risen from the grave to deliver the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. And in this video, we discuss if Bioware will f*** up once again. But before we get started, if you're new, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can keep it locked with future gaming content. But with that said, let's jump right in. The Mass Effect series was one of my favourite RPGs of all time. Mass Effect 1 was a fantastic game, but then Bioware shifted gears with a jet engine with Mass Effect 2, since the game was the equivalent of a masterpiece, and it's sort of like what God of War on the PS4 did for that game series. It took everything to a completely different level, and it was the key factor in making Mass Effect the iconic RPG it is today. Sadly, lightning didn't strike twice, Mass Effect 3 was still good, but just not on the same scale that ME2 delivered. But nonetheless, come May 2021, Bioware will be releasing the remastered edition of the original Mass Effect trilogy, and here are some of my thoughts. Try it, you'll be scanning the inside of your cold. I'd almost pay to see that, but it's not an option. You wanna talk? You get scanned. All you had to do was ask. I don't ask. Firstly, the game will be sticking with the Unreal Engine 3, the same engine that was used across the lifespan of the Xbox 360 and PS3. Bioware decided it's best to stick with the original engine because from a design perspective, transitioning to Unreal Engine 4 would have led to recreating a lot of assets and it would have turned the title into more of a remake than a remaster and in Bioware's credit that was the idea all along that they were not going for a remake this is a full-on remaster and they're clearly trying to get the very best out of a 15 year old engine with this remaster especially with the game now running at 4k and locked at 60 frames although this does take me to my next point the legendary edition will not have a ps5 or Xbox Series X edition, instead it's on PC, Xbox One and PS4 and will be playable on next gen consoles thanks to backwards compatibility. Bioware felt due to the older engine, it wouldn't do justice on next gen hardware and they feel the next Mass Effect would be more suited for that since it would be under development probably under the Unreal Engine 5 for example. But for those who will be playing this title on either a PS5 or Series X, it will take advantage of the SSD for lightning fast loading times. So no more waiting in elevators masked as loading screens for half a century. This exploration of Prothean culture, this must be like a survey for you, Leon. Our travels now are somewhat different from my normal excavations. Next up, Mass Effect 1 will show the most drastic differences compared to the other titles in the trilogy. I mean, 1 was the original game that released back in 2007 and so it was early days of the series and looking at comparison shots, you can already see how it shares the same UI as Mass Effect 2 and 3 now and visually there has been some improvements. The whole idea was to give Mass Effect 1 an uplift so it's more on par with the more modern Mass Effect 2 and 3. The visuals won't blow you away since keep in mind this is all running on an engine from the Xbox 360 era, but it's nice to see ME1 with a fresh coat of paint and you'll notice the biggest differences with ME1 compared to Mass Effect 2 and 3 when you play the game. Also in Mass Effect 1 you'll now be able to use any weapons regardless of your class, so unlike originally if you were a biotic for example, you could only use pistols, but now you're free to use whatever you wish. 
Multiplayer has also been scrapped for Mass Effect 3 and once again it's because of design choice. Online infrastructures have changed a lot since the PS3 and 360 era and to recreate the multiplayer it would have taken a very long time so this will be a full on single player experience which I am totally okay with since the campaign was the highlight of the series. And another highlight was this amazing scene of Amanda's ass back in the original Mass Effect 2, but Bioware have decided to remove it along with other so-called awkward cutscenes. Honestly, I find this news pretty ridiculous. Bioware knew what they were doing when they first developed this game, when they made this scene as well. So why change it now? So no 4K rendered ass for Miranda, sadly. Of course. I, I understand. You're right to be cautious. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miranda. It's alright, Commander. It's done. But overall, it does make me feel that Bioware are really trying to play it safe and not f*** up with the Legendary Edition. Besides a bunch of changes, they really don't want to cross any line of changing things up too much. So I don't think Bioware could in any way screw this up. Actually, you know what? Now I get it. Now I get it. To render Miranda's ass at 4K, maybe the engine just isn't capable of doing it. Now I understand. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, <laughs> I think it would be cool to revisit Mass Effect 1, especially just to witness the major differences. But that sums up my thoughts on the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I will be getting it since I love Mass Effect and to relive it, on the PS5, I think it would be awesome. But if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like as it really helps me out. And also subscribe, hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on future content. And I'll catch you all next time.